Christ, God's Son. Tell it to us too. Sir, thou sayst it thyself. And soothly I say that I shall go to my father as I came fro, and dwell with him joyful in weal all way. Why fie on thee, traitor untrue, the father as thou foully defamed. Now need we no notice as new, himself with his sores he ashamed. Now needs neither witness nor counsel a call, but take his sores as he set them in the same stead. He slanders the Godhead, and so grieves he us all. Wherefore, well worthy is he to be dead. And therefore, sir, tell him the truth. Surely so I shall. Hearest thou not, harlot? I'll hap on thy heed. Answer here directly to great and to small, and reaches out rapidly some reason I read. My <laughs> reasons are not to rehearse, nor they that might help me are not here now. Nay, <laughs> hey, lad. If you list and make verse, priest prattles prettier poetry than thou. Sir, if I say thee sooth, thou shalt not assent, but hinder or haste me to hang. I preached where people were most present, and no point in privity to old nor young. <coughs> also in your temple I told my intent, you might have taken me then for me telling. Much better than bring me with brands unburnt. <coughs> Thus to annoy me at night and also for nothing. For nothing! Lossal thou liest! Thy words and thy works a vengeance will bring. Sir, since thou with wrong so turns me awry, go ask them that heard me speaking. <clears throat> go, dress you and ding you in down, and deafen us no more with his deeds. <clears throat> go, tell to Sir Pilate our plain so plain, and say this lad with his lying is our law's lawn, and say that this same day must he be slain because of the Sabbath which is in the morn. <laughs> and say that we come ourselves for certain for to further the affair, now fare ye before. Sir, your fair fellowship we commend to the fiend. Go now, dance forth in the devil's way. <laughs> Whenever I came by kind or kin, I banned the bones that forth me brought. Woe worth the wound that I bred in. So may I bid. For I so falsely did to him that unto me great kindness did. The purse with his expense about I bore. There was none trusted so well as I than me. He trusted no man more. And I betrayed him traitorly with lies all vain. Blameless I sold his body unto the Jews for to be slain. To slay my sovereign assented I and told them the time of his taking. Shameless myself thus ruined I so soon to assent to his slaying. Now wist I how he might pass that pain. To look how best that boon might be, hunted Jews will I again. To save him, that he might pass free, that were my will. Lords, wealth and worship with you be. What tidings, Judas, tell us thou still? My tidings are painful, Sir Pilate, and therefore I pray. My master that I did sell you, good Lord, let him wend his way. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, needs must, Judas, that we deny. What mind and mattress moved thee thus? Sir, I have sinned full grievously, betrayed that righteous blood Jesus and master mine. Fair sir, what is that to us? The peril and the plight of thine, thine is the wrong, for thou hast wrought it. Thou told us full truly to take him, and ours is the bargain, for we bought it. Lo, we all are sent for to slay him. Alas, that may I rue full ill, if he has sent for him to slay. These words that thou names, no one needs it. Thou unhanged harlot, hear what I say, spare of thy speech. For no one needs it, or oh, walk out of door in the devil's way. Will you not then let him pass and have of me again your pay? I tell thee, traitor, that I will not. That I am lorn this day. 
Alas, both bone and blood. Alas, the while, so may I say that ever I ascend to spill his blood. To save his blood, Caesars, I pray you, and take you there, your permanent hole. Spare for I spill him now, I pray you, else brew ye me full mickle dole. Now hearest thou me, Judas, thou shalt take it again. We shall it not. What a devil art thou, when thou soughtest thou wast full fain of this money. What ails thee now for to repent? That which I took of you, take it you there! And therewith your master he make you among and claim it you clean! I loathe all my life, so live I too long. My treacherous turn torments me with pain. Since so my treason I've taken unto me, I need ask no mercy, for none shall I get. Therefore in haste myself shall I fordo me. Alas, the hard while that I ever met yet. To slay myself now will I speed, for sadly have I served too ill. So well away, that ever I was in wit or will, that trusty true one to betray. Alas, who may I turn unto? No other counsel now I need. Myself in haste shall I fordo. and take me now unto my death. Come then, Sir Annas. Let's see what you say as touching this brass that here we have. The Judas in wrath hath waved away and cast to us crabbedly that cursed knave. How say ye thereby? Sir, since he it slung, we shall it save. Quick, carry it to our treasury. Cry, 
Excuse thee if thou can. Every man has a mouth that made his own mold. In weal and in war to wield at his will. If he govern it goodly like as God would, his spiritual speech he need not to spill. And what man shall govern it ill? Full and handy and ill shall he hap. For each tale thou toxis until you account shall. You cannot escape. Sirs mine, you have heard in faith all his design. For in this lad no lies can I trap, nor point to put him to pine. Without cause, so we come not this carl to accuse him. That will we wit as well as worthy. Now I recall well the right. Ye shall no sooner refuse him till he be driven to his death and doomed to die. But take him to you thereby, and like as your law will as I doom ye his body to buy. Oh, Sir Pilot, without any peer, no nay. Ye what well, no doubt can appear. We may not, not all of us here, slay no man to you truth to say. Shall I doom him to death, not deserving the deed, but I have heard wholly why in heart ye him hate. He is fault as a faith, so God might me speed. I grant him good will to gang on his gate. Not so, sir, for well ye what? To be king he claimeth with crown. Who so stoutly would step to that state, you should doom, sir, to be dung down and dead. Sir, truly that touches to treason, and ere I remove, he shall rue that reason ere I Stalk or stir from this stead. He knights that are worthy. Take this caitiff in keeping. Scalp him with scourges. And with scathes him scorn. Wrap him and wring him till for woe he is weeping. Then 